Hi, are you getting ready to take the Praxis Middle School Mathematics exam? That's exam code 5164. My name is Anjali Couture, and I'm a test prep expert here at study.com. In today's video, we're going to go through some sample problems from the statistics and probability section of the exam to help you prepare for exam day. So let's get started. All right, so let's start with our first question. It says, a sample survey of 500 people showed that 200 subjects support team A, 250 support team B, and the rest do not support either team. What proportion of subjects supports team A? So in our question, we're told there are 500 people total, 200 of which support team A, and that's what our question is asking. So we need to figure out what proportion of subjects support team A and make sure that our answer is in decimal form. So we know that 200 of the 500 people support team A. On this exam, you're going to have an on-screen graphing calculator. So you'll just plug this into your calculator and you will get the answer 0 0.40. So we know that the correct answer is B, 40% of the subjects support team A. In this question, we are asked to look at a bar graph in order to answer a question. So this bar graph is showing us the daily salary of two people, Sarah, who's represented by these blue bars, and Beth, who's represented by these orange bars in our bar graph. And the question is asking us, what is Beth's mean daily salary for the week? So we are going to be solving for the mean, and we need to be looking at the orange bars for Beth. So to solve for the mean, we're going to take the sum of all the terms and divide it by the number of terms. So let's make sure we have all of our numbers for Beth. On Sunday, Beth earned $60, 55, 30, so Tuesday was a slow day, then 60 again, 50, 50, and on Saturday, she made her most money, $75. So when we're putting things in the numerator, we need to add up all these numbers. So we've got 60 plus 50. We have to add up all those numbers first. I'm putting them in parentheses so we remember to do that first. And then we have to divide that sum by the number of terms, which is 7. Again, because there's a calculator on screen, you're just going to plug all of this into your calculator, do your division, and you'll get your answer of $54.29. So let's go to our answer choices. And we do, in fact, see that that is an answer choice. So we know that the correct answer for this question is B. Beth's mean daily salary for the week is $54.29. All right, in our final question here, we are asked to look at a box and whisker plot or a box plot that's showing the height of rose plants after six weeks of planting. And the question is asking us, what is the median height of the rose plants? So when we're looking at a box and whisker plot, remember that the median is represented by this line within the box here. So this is a pretty straightforward question. We can clearly see that the median is 63 centimeters. So our correct answer for this question is B. I hope this was helpful. And if you're looking for more ways to study, you can check out our other videos here on YouTube and make your way over to study.com where you can check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems, test taking strategies, and targeted instruction, all of which is going to help you do as well as possible come exam day. With that said, we would love to hear from you. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and let us know down below in the comments if there are other things you would like us to cover. Until next time, good luck and happy studying.